This is the game that we're starting midway intentionally so that we can see whether giving contact uh, is a viable alternative. So in this particular game, uh, blue went three ball dead uh, for black. Uh, black red missed and then black came on and ran around to hoop 11, peeling blue at hoop one. So blue's clip is on two, blue is clean. Black's clip is on penalt. Black ended dead on yellow, uh, which is right near uh, the rover hoop. And before Black did that, he put red at four back, not rushable to one, and blue with, has a rush on red. Black then shot out to corner four, and Sharif, it's all yours. So yellow has contact because black made hoop seven. So if blue gets in again, Blue can run a double peel and finish. So yellow is considering how to use his contact. And he goes to black in corner four. Yellow sends black to one, going to red. It's red. I notice the ball that red wants is black, which is also at red's hoop, which is hoop one. Okay. Leaves red with a nice rush on black. Remember, it'll be blue to play. Mm. Okay, so important is yellow's deadness. Please put up yellow's deadness. Steve. Please put up yellow's deadness. It's red and black. So yellow used the contact to set for red, had hoped to put himself in peel position, but didn't. So now we'll see what red does. If blue hits, it can be all over. He'll run a double peel and that'll be it. Yes. So we should be able to see blue, which is for hoop two, organize a break, do two peels, and peg out. Nice. 
So as whenever we establish a break, of course, we want a pioneer. So that yellow is the pioneer for three. And he'll croquet black end of the lawn. Going to red. He'd actually like to croquet black toward penult, which is where it needs to be peeled. Getting the rush on red. Great shot. Okay. So the rest should be very routine for Matthew. Red to four, going to black. Black to peel position, a little long on black. Ooh. Well, maybe he'll peel him later. Let's see. That's good. Now that's still peelable. That's amazing. He can try the peel going to yellow. Gets it. Only one more peel. Matthew, you get the pe you get the rover peel done. We'll stop and reset. They're debating how quickly they can, he can get this peel done. Conceivably, he could rush back down and peel going to three. I mean, four, sorry. That's what they're laughing about. Oh, that'll be amazing. Let's see this peel get done and then we'll reset. Yeah. Next time. So he'll probably do this peel after five now. Red to six. Going to yellow.
So even though I'm gonna stop by, I want you just to continue filming, okay? Peel them and we'll go on. <laughs> okay, that that's enough, okay, for this. So clearly he was able to do that, right? He's he's got the rover peel in hand, and I'm not gonna make you watch a four ball break. So Matthew. Please set it up as if you had missed with blue, okay? So red's got a rush on black. Yellow is on the uh, left stanchion. And it's red to play. Who is playing red? Come on, guys. Matthew! Thank you. So, clearly if blue hits in after black runs around and gives contact, it's all over, as we just saw. But blue is left with a long hit in. What if he didn't get it is what I'm asking by having the balls put back. And we'll try again. Red had a better rush on black. But take whatever you want, Danny. I think he had an easier rush to... So red had an easier rush on black to one. What black was, yeah, something like that. What, yeah, whatever you want. Yes. Okay, here we go again. So the question is, how far will red go? He is. He's going to blue. <laughs> Start over. Start over. Start over. That's what you tell us when we take a lesson, right? <laughs> All right, here we go again. How often do you get to do this, Danny? You get to do it over. Well, again. Okay. Is, accepting that you want to play red. <laughs> Details. And I think, just for my own sake, yellow was about an inch closer to the stanchion when... Uh, it was left. It wasn't, it wasn't nicely rushable to one. <laughs> 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 so
So Danny, can I ask what your thinking is? What's your plan? Okay, okay, because remember yellow is significantly dead, okay. How you just practice that so you have no fear. Danny, can I interrupt you one more time? Uh, how far do you plan to go with red? Are you stopping at six or going on? Yeah, yeah. That, but you can only peel them when you're Rover. I had discussed with the heart, but I'd probably make three, five, or six. Make six and then stop? Okay, fine. Which I think would be the norm. Right. That the first ball around can do different things than the second around. Nicely done. Very nice. So now we're watching a, a master class on four ball break. So the the reason I let this proceed is to see what Danny does after he makes hoop six. By getting yellow peeled early, Danny has all options open to him. So now they're deciding what to do. How will they deal with contact after seven? That's the issue, that's the game. No, he's, he's, he's at hoop two, he's, think, he's, thinking it, he's thinking forward. I mean, running from break, the break from here is easy. The question is, how do you set the lead? as much as you can. So blue to four. He'll rush black to yellow. Yellow 
toward the pig, I think, getting a rush on black toward the pig, getting a rush on yellow. Or in fact, he may just take off. Yo is just a bad pioneer for three. Yep. So if red can peel black at Pennold and Rover, then, and then peg him out, Red can set for yellow, and it's all over. So this may be too easy for red and yellow. We'll watch this until Danny gets the two peels. Trying to peel black, going to blue. Taps black and tries to put black through his hoop on, his, on the way to blue. because he wants to peel him out. He wants to peel him at Penalt, he wants to peel him at Rover, and then he wants to peg him out and get him out of the game. <laughs> nice peel. Great peel. Makes hoop four. He can try to go up and rush black down here. So the peel can be done after five. There's no rush, but that would be quick and an easy shot. So blue goes to six, gets the rush on black, rushes black down to rover, makes five with yellow, and then does the peel. short so that may prevent the peel from happening immediately although we could use yellow to adjust black we'll see can also do the peel on the way to eight seven Let's see, if he goes to yellow, 
then to black, and tries the peel on the way to six. Yeah, he's trying to decide where to peel him. <laughs> okay, so this is the right way. There's no rush. Peels. Puts him in better position going to yellow. Interesting. Okay. So I think yo to seven going to blue. So he may try the peel on the way to seven. So he may not even bother. He may jaws. Okay. So he gets one peel done, but chooses not to give contact. So that was an interesting play. He got one peel done, but he's choosing not to make hoop seven. Yellow wants blue, which is set up for him. Wax the danger ball has been separated. I believe he'll just go into the jaws. Sure. Okay. Stephen, please set the deadness board. De somebody. Red's three ball, right? Huh. 
Nice hit. So, gentlemen, is red three ball or two ball? Two ball. Thank you. Black is now dead on yellow. The board was wrong before, now it's right. So black is for Rover. And black would really like to set for blue. I'm sorry, blue wants red. So, by removing yellow, Black has turned it over to blue. Oof. Matthew, get the rover peel done. We'll start again. Nice shot. Remember, blues for two. Not sure quite what he was trying to do. A little long with black. Oof, good.
shot. Pinky wants red. Gets behind red. Like to get red to five. Go to black at four. Yep, here comes red for five. So put it to the west so we can rush it to five, which is also rover. Matthew, can I interrupt you one second? So what happened at two? <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, yeah, and we'll set it up one more time for a four back play. So apparently he was trying to go for a six tuple on opponent. Makes five with red. Don't know if he'll get the peel right now. Comes through, the question is, can he hit black into peel position? Maybe. Maybe, <laughs> good shot, very good shot. All right, Matthew, that's good. That's good enough. So can you guys come over for one second? I'd like to decide on one more setup that we try. Yeah, yeah, because I want to hear their, I want their input on this. Come on over. I'd like your input on tape. Yeah. Okay, I'll come over here. So I'd like to get your impressions on tape. And then do we set this up so that uh, it's a triple peel instead of a double? I think going to four back is going to make it a little bit more difficult. Um, instead of Penult, obviously, but I do still think if somebody were to hit in um, a couple of good shots to start the turn, and it's still going to be, um, I don't want to say trivial, but um, I think it's going to be fairly easy once you get the balls together. Uh, for the t whoever hits in, I mean, for red and yellow, you know, they're playing without the contact. Um, they're trying to just make, because they're for one and one still, right? Um, they get the original contact. Um, and I think, you know, just like they played it out, I think it's going to be played out the same way. They score six hoops, set a leaf, um, and you just got to hope. You got to avoid a lot of hit ins um, that way. And so um, it might be beneficial for Blue and Black to give up the contact if they think they're going to hit in at any point. Um, but if Blue and Black are not 
that good of shooters. You know, maybe they're not they're better break play, but they're not as good of a shot. They might not want to give up contact because they know the only way to get the innings back is by hitting in. Um, so, anything to? All right, so we'll stop for two seconds, set it up, and try one more time from four back. So this time, black is for four back. Red and yellow are still for one, blue is for two, blue was cleaned by black as he ran to four back and quit there, giving contact. Yellow was near rover, yellow picked up and went to black. Here we go. That's a nice shot. Okay. So Danny is saying the leave is not nearly as strong. Do you want to start it over with a different weight leave? Okay. That roll shot he just did, he was to come up short of red because he's rushing red towards blue. Now, if you got the other leave, when it's down at hoop four, mm -hmm. that big roll shot, you've got to go past the hoop to accomplish the same thing, which adds about 20 foot to that roll. Okay. And that's why this one's not as strong. Thank you, thank you. Let's see what he can do with it. Oops. We'll give you that one. But that is one of the challenges of this. Eh? No, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Come on. All right. That was a mulligan. Hey, Steven, go back and do it the right way. Come on. You're happy? All right, you're happy. <laughs> nice shot. Matthew? Matthew, why don't you guys come over? We can all chat about this. I'm sort of viewing this as a master class, if you will, for yeah, yeah. to put on the vi video so people can see what you guys are thinking. How far should yellow go? One back. Stop it. One back. Just like just like we had. Give up the. Don't give up the contact. So. Matthew said, "Don't give up contact. Stop it. One back." Red is clean, so there's no worry about peeling red. Yeah, no worry about that. His only other option, I think his only other option is to do a TPO um, and peel black out as he goes around to the peg. But um, that moves blue's clip to four back, and um, huge change in the game if blue gains um, nine hoops. So, um. But is it enough for blue? See, I don't think it's enough. I'm going to encourage him, and we'll see. Yeah, let's see if we can get him to try it. Yeah, he's trying to get Steven to try the TPO. <laughs> Set up to do it. If he's going to do it, he's going to do it right now. You talk him into it? Yeah. We talked him into it. Good. 
It had to be then or, not, or never. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you got to decide to do it then. Yeah. Otherwise. Yeah. You're okay. No, you all record. No, no, no. I want him to record. Yeah. I think I'm taking some coffee. Okay, so we have Steven here with yellow. He scored two. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. He has scored two. Um, he's now setting up the black ball for the peel after three. Looks pretty good. Only thing that is an issue right now is his hoop four pioneer. Um, red is not very tidy and might cause issues here in a second. Yes, so um, just like Howard just said, um, this is very interesting because normally in American rules, a TPO is um, not seen. Very, very uncommon. And um, it's nice. Uh, yeah, a triple or a TPO. Any, any, any form of, of more than one or two peels is not common in American rules. So anything that is going to add more peeling turns um, is, a, is a thing we're, we're after. Okay, so once again, he's going to go for the peel here. Um, even if he gets in the jaws, that's good enough. The only thing that is worrisome is this, uh, this red ball up here as a Super 4 Pioneer. Great shot. Okay, let's see how aggressive he gets with this rush. Ideally, he'd like to be about where that light pulls at uh, next to Hoop 4. Yeah, that's a good shot. Okay. Okay, I came up a little bit short with yellow and blue actually. Getting that ball really wide, making his back reverse takeoff here even easier. Looks like a good shot. Nice, good shot. Very good. Scored the hoop with some pace, didn't go all the way out of bounds, and so he's able to get behind this red ball and still somewhat get a rush back to the middle of the court. So ideally you'd like to go to black now, um, but because of the spacing here and how far red, away, red is away from black, um, he's probably just going to do a standard drive shot, sending red down to six as he gets a rush on blue to hoop five. Yep. And watch how you see how red it is on the right side of the hoop here. The reason being is because black is on the right side of the court, so he knows he's going to be coming from that direction. Very well placed. Nice. Scored with some control, and now he's able to rush blue, ideally to the, uh, to the east of black, to the right, and uh, to give him the space to send blue to one back. Uh, okay, let's see how he plays this here. So ideally, he'd like to send blue over to one back um, and still stay behind black to knock it through. But because of where he has rushed the blue ball, his spacing is not ideal. Um, so he might be going for a um, 
an opportunity to peel this black ball through penultimate after six. Um, okay, so it looks like he's going to be going for the Wiley peel. Um, and for the people who do not know what that is, the Wiley peel is, is a version of the penultimate peel where um, it's not going to be quite on time. He's not going to be able to peel this black ball and have a standard pioneer over at one back. He's actually going to try to peel um, and rush red over to one back after the hoop. Now, I'll kind of give you an idea of what's going to, uh, how this is going to transpire. Okay, wants to get black over near penultimate, but not quite in the way because he's going to go to blue directly after he scores the hoop. Nice and gentle with red here. Very good shot. Okay, doesn't want to send red too wide. Remember, red is the ball that he's going to rush 2-1 back after the hoop. Very good shot. After uh, after the peel, excuse me. So he's going to want to go through with a little bit of pace here, but not go out of bounds. Okay. Very good. Now he's going to hit blue first. Very good. Got some spacing with that. That's the big difference here between um, this is a very common um, peeling strategy used in association. And the v big difference here in this game that uh, Howard has come up with is the lack of the ability to rush balls out of bounds makes so much more um, control a factor. Control is such more of a factor due to that. Okay, so he's trying to send blue up to two back. Um, really curious. Um, Stephen will appreciate me uh, me using the word curious there instead of uh, other options, but uh, really curious position on blue. Ideally, he'd like to have that blue ball all the way to uh, to two back, um, but blue has come up well short, and uh, we'll see how that we'll see how that plays out from here. It might become an issue going forward after uh, after he scores one back here. Okay, so. Going for a split peel here, trying to get black at least in the jaws as he makes sure the important thing is nice, black's in the jaws as he gets the rush on red. That's very good. Good shot. Okay, so he's just scored one back. Um, a little bit of significance um, just because of the contact uh, that he's going to be giving up now after you score one back. Um, he's now giving up the contact as well as the clearing to either blue or black. Um, and so since blue is clean on all three balls, um, I assume that Danny and Sharif here will be cleaning black when it is their opportunity. Um, but they might not have a clearing at all if Steven executes this turn due to the fact that black will be pegged out. Nice. So he gets black a little bit down the court. Okay, since he's got two peels done, the worst case scenario now is that he that he has a straight rover attempt. Um, obviously, if he executes the rest of the break, but um, now it's looking a lot, lot more tidy here, and he's going to be able to make sure he gets a really good contact leave um, so that blue doesn't have 
an easy finishing turn. Very good shot. Now you see how he set black up on that shot to uh, for black to be peeled. Um, but because of red's position, it doesn't look as though if black is going to be able to be peeled on the way to three back. Um, he's just getting that ball set up there to uh, to kind of keep it nice and tidy to that hoop so that he might get another opportunity to get a peel. Okay, so now Danny will have a contact. Um, I believe it's Danny. Not quite sure who's playing blue, but blue will have a contact um, with one peel to get. And so this is the negative of the TPO, um, is the possibility of a mistake that will then... So it looks as though um, Howard is interested in seeing a two versus one because we haven't really had a situation like that yet um, in the three pre previous games and even in the couple of scenarios we've just done. Um, so Howard is interested in getting Steven to finish this turn, regardless of his mistake, um, to set up a two versus one finish um, to see how it would play out. Um, we're not quite sure the... Yep, yep, yep. Um, so... So he's gonna he's gonna go all the way to the peg, um, and he's gonna we're gonna presume that he's correct. So we're gonna presume he set the leaf and um, and got a two versus one ending because we haven't had a situation like that prior. What would you like the two on one leave to be? Um, so I don't know yet. Um, we have Howard just asked if what I would like the two versus one leave to be, and so we do know that Blue's clip will be moved to four back. Has the option. Um, has the option. In this case. He's going to take it um, because it's a, it's a huge advantage to gain those nine hoops um, or eight hoops. But um, ideally, I think he's going to want a ball in corner one, um, considering that's the farthest from uh, four back we can get. Um, and then the question is, leave, blue is, is irrelevant. Um, you can really leave blue anywhere in the lawn because it's going to take its contact leave. Um, so blue also has a choice of not getting dead on opponent at the moment. He Correct. Could just shoot the position. Yes, so Blue does have a choice of not taking the contact. Yes, yes, most, most likely going to take the contact, but he does have the option to, uh, to not. Yeah. I think one ball near corner one. Um... Don't want it to be in corner two. Actually, you do. We want to entice him to not take the, the extra hoops. Uh, I wouldn't go here because it's going to be four back. I'd go in corner two. One and two. So, Stephen is asking, uh, we're trying to figure out a good place to set this leave. Um, and so, we're just going to kind of set the balls up to be there. So, black will be off the lawn. Red is going to be near corner one. Um, and so, like I said, we're assuming as though Steven finished that turn, even though he had stuffed um, hoop number eight. And he's going to be all the way for the peg. And black will have also been for the peg, and Steven will have pegged the black ball out, causing it to be red and yellow versus just blue, um, considering black has been pegged out. So this is a situation that has not come up. Um, and we're going to see how it plays out to, uh, to see the variations we can get. So, um, uh, yes, yes, very good. So he's going to put yellow in a wired spot, therefore it's uh, wired to four back, so that it's a harder shot um, for blue to get set up right in front.
Blue's going to have an opportunity to go to maybe 10 foot, 10 foot out, um, 10 feet out, and um, and we'll see how we'll see how this plays out. Okay, so Sharif is gonna play blue here and take the contact. Um, and remember, uh, so Sharif, are you gonna move your clip before back? Yes. So Danny has just grabbed his clip. Um, blue is now for four back. So he's leaving the blue clip on two instead of taking his eight hoops. Um, reason being is because this was kind of Steven's intention. Is That's the reason he set this leave. That's the reason he set this leave. Um, and so that, that was kind of the thought behind the entire – the thing is we want Sharif to play, um, play for hoop two. Um, even though it might give him an easier opportunity to get things going – um, it's still going to be he has to make eight more wickets. So um, even if it's an easier turn, um, it's going to be harder to, to get everything together. Looks like a really good shot. Yeah, that's great. And as you see. No, I did. That's why I said I wanted to entice him to do that. It's just a good turn. It's a good shot. So, um, Sharif, like we, like I said, he has declined the option to go to four back. Yep. And we'll see how this turn finishes up. Um... Still got a lot of work to do, and this is this is it. Um, the fact that he has, instead of making three hoops left, um, if he'd have taken his clip instead from two to four back, he now has nine hoops to make. Um, so it's a very very big difference, even though he has made his turn easier. Nice hoop. How far do we, uh, for him to take it? Um, let's make him go through at least two back. Okay. Plenty of room left to make a mistake. Matthew, are you going to be a lock cat? I'd like to. <laughs> um, I, I reached out to, um, what's the guy's name, um, the head Guy. Do you know? Do you know anybody there? I do, but I'm not pulling up any names right now. Gotcha. I, just, I was at Highlands Falls. Okay. Okay. I had heard the rumor that Wildcat was wanting to pull in the full time. Yeah. So they um. Did he miss? I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry. Do your thing. No, you're you're fine. I just don't know what happened. What happened, Sharif? Okay. Did you miss? <laughs> 